Hello and welcome everyone. This is John RMS, aka Ace Bullion here. And today I have a really, really special video. And uh, well, it's brought to you not only by myself, Ace Bullion, but it's also brought to you by my sponsor, The Silver Trader. So without further ado, I'm gonna do this as professionally as I possibly can. Um, I'll be featuring what is on the table today. Now, please be sure to go over, check out my uh, description. You're gonna find the links for not only the Silver Trader, but you'll find the links uh, to my website and any other relevant information that um, I feel may crop up. Um, so without further ado, let's bring out the coin on offer. Okay, we have, oh, Somali Republic. Let's get up close and personal. So, first off, 100 shillings. So, it's a coin. Although, shillings, as far as I'm aware, are not used anymore, but perhaps, maybe perhaps, they're used elsewhere, but they're definitely not used in the UK. So this is the reverse side. This would be like, um, or this would be the face side. I'm not really sure how you're gonna wanna put it. This would be the side I would be putting down. Um, and it is, in its own self, incredible. Now this is from the uh, Bavarian Mint, and it's the third in the series. Now I won't tease you, I'll show you over here first. We are talking about the African wildlife leopard here. And if you don't like leopards, well, I'm not really sure why. But here we go. So let's focus first on the back and then we'll go over to the front. Um, I am sorry, there is a scratch or something on there, but yep. Yeah. Um, but we'll have a, a really good look and zoom in and uh, look at all the features available on this. And during uh, this, uh, video I'll also give you my personal views and that's all they are they're my personal views so on first impressions I actually really like the reverse side I think it's actually pretty cool let's get in closer shall we so we have a crust in the middle there we go nice crust in the middle and then we have two cats with almost like a dragon-like tongue and style of body holding this coat of arms. Uh, a large star straight in the middle. And uh, what I really like is that it is the texture on it in the back. That's super cool. Something that you don't get. It is, of course, a reeded coin, as I'm sure you can see. Um, and it is not something that is over simplistic but it's not also um again there's a, a scratch you can see there it's just on the capsule i apologize um but yeah so it's not something that is you know just kind of a a, a thrown together um piece of bullion either and that's something that's super cool i mean everything from how they're standing on the two spears and you have the two uh, jungle uh, leaves in the background. I think that's really, really cool. So as we zoom out, we can have a better look overall. So it says tw uh, 2020, so 2020, Som uh, Somali Republic, and that's the cross side. So what about the main side? Well, Let's crack on. Bam. Now here we go. African wildlife with the leopard. One ounce silver. AG. 999.9. So four nines. This is something you'd expect from the Port, uh, Perth Mint perhaps. Or uh, even the Canadian Mint. I mean. It is... 
you know, that, that extra little bit of purity for me says a lot. Um, does it mean it's going to have problems or defects? I don't know down the line. Everything's kind of prone to everything. But let's zoom in here on the face. So there we go. There's the the leopard's face. And uh, you can see a lot of work has gone into it. What I'm not really sure about here is this tree branch on um, which it's uh, it's hanging. Now, let's, like, let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see what I mean. So this is a tree branch here, which the leopard's sitting on, but it's very difficult to distinguish that. And you can see the tree in the background and you can see some lovely uh, birds flying and along with another tree. I call them tree of life, kind of in the middle of a desert, you know, beautiful view. But on first impressions, um, you know, I, I love the coin. On closer inspections, I know leopards are supposed to be hidden. And I, you know, I, I strongly believe that they're supposed to be that way, but the texturing, um, is, is really let down. The leopard and the tree are, well, they're almost the same. In fact, I'd go as far as saying that, you know, they kind of made the outline and then they just stamped it all up the same. Um, now, it's a bit of a shame that, because I think that the leopard would have been the main feature Instead, we're kind of pondering upon this tree and, or tree branch, and it's, it's a bit of an eyesore. Um, I will be honest with you. Um, I would have liked to see, seen the leopard um, a little bit, just more of the leopard. Um, and if it was on a tree, like it would be in, you know, nature, fine, but have the tree perhaps, um, you know, a very matted finish because at the moment we have a very high gloss, a gloss, a gloss, but then we have the exact same texture. So the leopard and the tree blends in way too much for my liking. Um, but let's have a look down here. Let's see if we can look at some of the trees in the background. And I'll hold this as steady as I can. So, bear in mind, I'm under intense magnification. So any tiny movement I'm making is uh, going to be reflected here. I am literally just using the tiniest of you know, movements with my hands. So you can see the first, what I'm going to call the tree of life. Because it looks a bit like that. And there's the leopard's paw coming over into um, the main area. Another tree in the background. A couple of, uh, I think, cranes, or I'm not quite sure what birds those would be, but they do look like cranes. And we move in. Kind of have a, a bit of a surprised look on the leopard's eyes. But it, again, it's extremely difficult to capture on film. And that's all because of the camouflage or, well, poor design in the tree front, I'm afraid. Now, this series is just brilliant. I do like it a lot. And, you know, for most, when you're looking at it, you're going to be looking at a coin kind of like this. It's not going to matter too, too much. You're going to see the leopard. You're going to see the body. You're going to know it's on the tree. But, and this is how you're going to view the coin. Literally, this is going to be your view. Um, I know that because as I peer over, I can look and I can see the exact same thing. So, yeah, it is a really nice coin. It is... Well, it's a collectible series.
<laughs> it's the third in the series and it is a really beautiful design but my biggest criticism is not the back because I think that that is lovely not the sides because a nice reeded edge and by the way the, these come in capsules but my biggest flaw that I have is the texture of this tree and perhaps the choice of you know um style of the tree compared to the leopard so we would have wanted uh, well i say we i personally would have wanted the leopard to stand out a bit more and the tree to kind of just be a figure maybe perhaps not as much detail dare i say that wow um, in the tree so this way the leopard was its own feature anyway that's my uh my opinion my views purely my views my thoughts my opinions um but again you know four nines fine silver you know from the bavarian mint third in the series this is something you guys can easily go back pick up and start the series if you haven't already and if you do like it now again this video is sponsored and brought to you by the silver trader this is not my coin i say that a lot of the time um, i am given a lot of coins to review to look over and to give my honest and objective opinion and this one here i actually had high hopes for um, but the tree is the only thing that really is annoying. So, please, let me know down below in the comment uh, section what your thoughts are, what your views are, what your opinions are. Uh, make sure you smash that like button and share this video around as much as possible. Uh, that helps me out. But more importantly, I'm, I'm interested, obviously, in knowing what your views are. Um, do you collect this? Are you have you ever collected this series? Are you going to? Um, you know the premiums on these coins actually are. Well, <laughs> do you want to have a series, or do you want to have a Britannia or an American Silver Eagle? That is the comparison I'm going to give you as far as a premium, because that is what you're looking at at the moment. This will cost the same as. An American Silver Eagle or Britannia or Canadian Maple. Uh, the, you know, thereabouts. It's the rough figures. So, you know, for a 4.9 collectible coin, it's, it's worth it. But that is bothering me, that tree. And it's the first time that I've done one of the African Wildlife Series that I was not too happy about one of their main, you know, uh, kind of features. And it's the tree on this design that got me. So that's enough rambling for me until uh, probably tomorrow or Wednesday for sure. Because I always do a video on Monday, Wednesday and Fridays. Um, I hope you have a great time. Be safe wherever you are. And uh, I hope I brought a little bit of a smile to your face. And thank you for watching. Have a great day, wherever you may be. Bye for now.